Well, this video is gonna have to be quick because uh, I'm at a stoplight. So, what happens if your Garmin watch is pretty much fully charged and then you wanna charge it via solar? Let me show you. So I charged this thing this morning. This is the Garmin Solar Instinct. And if you scroll down to the solar widget, you'll get some sun here, battery full, and it's done. So it stops charging. There we go. And the cool thing about this watch, well, right now I'm in energy saver mode, sorry, battery saver mode, and it's estimating they have 102 days left of battery life. That's All right, I'm never gonna try to film a video at a traffic light again. Uh, again, I, I recently fully charged this watch this morning, about four hours ago, and when it's in this battery saver mode, and this is something new to the Instinct Solar, the Garmin Instinct didn't have that. Now, if I take this out of battery mode, sorry, battery saver mode, by selecting, now it jumps down to 14 days. So big difference, and now all my widgets work the watch face changes. Ah, and there's the battery full indicator. But now heart rate's enabled, so if I leave it in this normal mode, it's gonna stay connected to my phone, and it's going to track my sleep, all that fun stuff, calendar appointments, weather alerts, storm alerts, music controls, you name it, it just does a whole bunch of stuff. So basically, when you go into that battery saver mode, all you're getting, you're still getting a smartwatch. So now we'll turn it back on. Now we're back to 102 days. You get the time, you get the date. <laughs> uh, you, do, you always get solar charging. So battery's still full, awesome. And it still counts steps. Whatever that widget's disabled, the Pulse OX is disabled, you still have my day. You can still view history and whatnot. I mean, you still have access to the watch's data. Still gonna count your calories. And the barometric pressure is still working and it will still count your flights of stairs. I tested this at home and I've tested it outdoors. So if you're on a long hike, you could still get quite a bit of data and collect quite a bit of health data using this watch. So it looks like it's still tracking, yeah, it's still tracking barometric pressure alerts as well. Hmm, I wonder if, and it's still tracking temperature. That's nice. And it's still tracking the phases of the moon. And there's the flights of stairs. So is this an awesome watch? The answer is yes. Do I recommend it? Yes. Actually, one thing I noticed in the wee hours of the morning today, around 2 a.m., I wanted to check the time, and you can't see it right now, and it's hard to film at night, I've tried. When you do turn on that backlight, because this is a military-grade device, the backlight is really soft, and it's very gentle on your eyes at 2 a.m., Whereas the Apple Watch with that bright OLED screen, yeah, it's kind of blinding almost. So it's really, I yeah, it's chromatic, it's black and white, but it does have a really good contrast. And even in direct sunlight, you can always see your data, which is something I've really enjoyed on this watch. And it just works. I love the button navigation, and I really like how I can keep my gloves on in the cold weather here in Utah and still view the data and still just scroll. And even when you are in battery saver mode, as soon as you hit GPS and start a GPS walk, for example, it will automatically turn on GPS and start doing your heart rate without you having to take it out of battery saver mode. And then as soon as you're done, it kills the GPS, it terminates the phone connection, and it closes out any heart rate detection as well. So. It's a smart watch. And that's it. Just a short video today about the Garmin Instinct Solar. I really like it. Bought this back in November, so this is three months later. And I like how it makes, or I like how it keeps solar charging smart. <laughs>
it uh, it won't overcharge the battery like some people believe could happen. So Garmin put a lot of work into this $400 device. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. And the mantra, well, yeah, there's the, the beat, yesterday, beat Yesterday by Garmin, but more so, numbers mean something and numbers mean nothing at all. Don't get too hung up in competing with your friends online. Just focus on you and improving yourself. And yes, run farther to go further in life. That's all I have for today. Let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid.